Hey, welcome back to the Danger Zone. I'm glad you're here. It's Ashley. I do urge everybody to do their own research. I'm just trying to entertain. And with that said, everything in my video can be found on a public domain. The full disclaimer is down below. I wish you lots of love and many blessings. Okay, you guys, turns out Harry's long ponytail was for a roll. Something they're working on, a project, they're calling it. Now that he's planted his feet there in California, I guess he feels like he has some sort of acting abilities. Time will tell. A sweet thank you to my buddy Pretzel, whose relatives in the business. They told me the other day, not too long ago, that Harry and Meghan proposed an idea to Disney, and Disney turned them completely away. Nobody's interested. They have been warned about this and warned about this. If you step out of the royal family and go to California, you're taking a major risk. Nobody's going to care. It's all going to wear off. And that's just about what it's done. They're super desperate, you guys. They need to make money, and they need to make money fast. It seems that they're spending a whole lot more than they have access to. Now, word on the street is, makes it's going to stay the same. There's no need for a review right now, but whose idea was that? The Queen's or Harry and Meghan? As it is already, they feel like the Queen has way too much control over both of them. Now, I don't know how that is. We're not seeing that outside looking in. Maybe it's a money thing. You know, they do receive an allowance every month from Charles. So the reason they're trying to stall the Mexit review is because they feel like the Queen's going to demand a whole lot more control, like seeing Archie, being involved with him, or even threatening to thin out their allowance. Either way, they're saying that it was Meghan who woke Harry up to the control his family has had over him his entire life. They want the Queen to have no say-so in whatever they choose to do, but they want that money to continue, don't they? And even though Meghan said she's not begging the Queen for her title, she don't need her title to get through life. Harry and Meghan sure do throw it around an awful lot, don't they? Yet here's the latest excuse as to why they won't allow Archie around the royal family. They want Archie to know nothing about the royal family in the way of status. They don't want him to feel like he's privileged in any way. They say they want to raise him normal, down to earth, void of all titles, of all royal statuses, no privileges whatsoever. How hypocritical can they get? They want their titles, they want that money and their status and perks, but they don't want him to have anything. Being raised around Doria as the grandparent is going to keep him grounded and down to earth and humble. If he's raised around the royal family, he'll be a snob. Well, that tells me what they already think of the Cambridge's children, if that's the case. And it's being said that this is one of the main factors as to why they don't want to go and sit down and do the review. They simply don't want Archie around the royal family. What are they afraid of? Everybody knows my opinion on this Archie situation. What are they really afraid of? You don't keep a child hidden like they do. It's not normal. They have bigger fish to fry. Listen to this. William is so upset with Harry. It seems to be this way all the time. There's never going to be getting any kind of brotherly love back between them until this relationship is over between Harry and Meghan. And that's just my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. We've always known Prince William to be far more loyal to Princess Diana and her legacy, her memory, her honor than Harry's ever been. Even while Harry and Meghan were just dating, it was going around like crazy how the two of them had huge plans to cash in on Harry's mom. And I have to admit, in the beginning, I didn't think that was going to be the case. I thought there's no way Harry's going to allow somebody to be bop into his life and talk him into doing this. No way. Boy, was I wrong. Harry and William agreed long ago, shortly after their mother passed away, as they grew up together, their agreement was we're never going to talk about mom separately. Everything we do, it's going to be together. You know, we don't need to branch off and talk about her in our own way. We need to stick together and do this. As a matter of fact, we don't really need to talk about her much at all. And all I can say is the royals must know a lot more than we do as to what's going on with their production company and behind the scenes. Because now it's being said that Prince William feels like Harry and Meghan have stolen Princess Diana's legacy. 
it's like they just can't help themselves. They've got to get as much money made off of Diana as they possibly can. They've proven that. Remember when they spent 15 minutes of Harry crying over his mother at that J.P. Morgan event? They earned a million dollars close to it. To take your mom's life and open it up for everybody to pilfer through is so disrespectful. And when they stood there in front of that group of J.P. Morgan people and he cried the way he did, that was, in my opinion, nothing more than a show. Speaking of cashing in, have you heard about Thomas Markle's latest endeavors? He wants his piece of the pie. He plans on doing a documentary, they're saying. Since he raised her, I guess he wants to share with the world who she really is from his perspective. I've always been told that Megan has padded his pockets and that Doria is a middleman for the situation. I don't blame him, though. If he wants to make a little more, make as much as you can off of them. They seem to have no boundaries, so he shouldn't have any boundaries. So I guess I'm looking forward to that documentary. Go, Thomas. You know, you guys, really fast, I wanted to share something with you. Now, I have noticed in a couple of these pictures, they look weird. This is a picture from the day she was married to Trevor Engelson, and they're standing in front of a mirror. Wouldn't we see their reflection just a little bit in that mirror? Super weird to me. I don't know. And then the picture of the two of them with his arm around her, I always felt that that didn't look normal. It wasn't resting right. Looks sort of photoshopped to me. I'd love to hear your opinion. Now, before I shut my big old mouth and let you guys get on with your day, I wanted to bring your attention to this. Harry's in fear of the future of the Invictus Games. You know, you guys always heard that he was going to cancel the Invictus Games 2021 anyway. I guess his new acting career is just getting in the way of everything. I hope you're having a good day today. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Please stay safe and be blessed.